Hey world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your motivational Monday episode for the week. In today's episode, we are going to talk about something that is super important, and that is mastering your multiplication facts. But before we dive into that, don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe or follow, that way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. Guess what? It's Monday, it might be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I don't know when you're seeing this, but for me, it is Monday, and that is when I release these motivational Monday episodes, because sometimes it's very common for us to wake up kind of feeling sad and stressed out on Mondays, but that's just the message that we have in our heads. What we need to do is change that message and instead choose to be pumped and excited about Mondays. That's a decision I made several years ago and I tell you what, it changed my life. So it's really important that you all students get this from a really young age. The idea that Mondays can be exciting and filled with a fresh new opportunity for the week if that is the message that you choose for yourself. Let's go ahead and kick off this motivational Monday episode by standing up. We're gonna get into our power pose position. So stand up, get your hands on your hips, shoulders back, looking like a superhero, and repeat after me with confidence. This is how I Monday. Awesome, let's go ahead and get started. Multiplication, multiplication, multiplication. Whenever I come to visit classrooms, I always have teachers ask me, Hey, Ms. McCarthy, before you go, can you please share a few words with my students to let them know how important it is to master their multiplication facts? And my response is, But of course I can do that. So do your teachers and parents tell you that all the time? You need to learn your facts. You need to learn your times tables. You need to learn your multiplication facts. They say that all the time, right? And you're like, I know, I know, I know. But they are speaking truth into you because they know they are older, they have more experience, and they know how often multiplication comes up in your lifetime, not just in school, but throughout your life. So here is the reason why it is so important for you to master your multiplication facts. If you're a first or a second grader, you might be getting started with multiplication. If you're a third grader, you are definitely being exposed to multiplication and understanding multiplication and division. And then when you get into fourth and fifth grade, you really start to use multiplication on a daily basis as you continue into middle school and high school and if you continue into college or straight up into real life you use multiplication all the time so it's really important that you take the time right now to master them now because guess what it'll save you time later now what do I mean by that if you practice your multiplication facts now it'll save you time later well let's imagine that you're a third grader okay in third grade you start to understand multiplication and division you're spending time drawing arrays and groups of equal things and you're skip counting on a number line using all these strategies to multiply right and you're starting to practice with it and that is awesome and amazing and it's really important in third grade that you start to pick them up that you start to master them why? Because in fourth grade and beyond, you use multiplication as the stepping stone for other more complex skills that you will learn. For instance, in fourth grade, you're going to be multiplying larger numbers. And if you know your facts, you will save time because you'll be able to solve all the steps in that fourth grade multiplication problem. When you get into fifth grade, it gets a little bit more complex, right? Like for instance, you might be multiplying fractions. You might be dividing large divisors. And if you understand your multiplication facts, it'll help you to solve that problem quicker. Not that it's totally about speed, but if you're spending so much time on these more challenging problems, kind of stuck at that multiplication step, it's gonna eat up your time, okay? So it's really important that you practice your facts now. You practice it until you master it. Where you really wanna get is that you know that six times seven equals 42. Okay, getting to that point where you understand it. If you take the time to memorize and master them now, it'll save you so much time in the future. And also mastering your multiplication facts is a simple way to boost your math confidence. When you are a master of your multiplication facts, you naturally get this boost, this dose of confidence that you can perform those more challenging math problems. All right, so now that you understand why it is so important because you're going to see it forever in different ways, so you understand why, let's talk about 
how you can go about practicing so that you can master your multiplication facts. You could do it the old-fashioned way, which is the way that I learned, which was on flashcards. You could go out and purchase multiplication flashcards on your own, or you could do like I did when I was in third grade and fourth grade, and I went home and I created my own multiplication cards by cutting up strips of paper and using that to practice. And here's what I did with flashcards. I created all of them all the way from your zero times zero to your 12 times 12, put them together, and I created two different piles. The yes, I've mastered it pile, and the not yet pile. If I knew it right away, like zero times zero equals, Zero, that would be a yes pile. I'd put it in the yes pile. Or two times two equals four, right? If I knew it right away, that means that I had mastered it and I would put it in the yes pile. When it was something like six times eight, if I didn't know it right away, I would turn it over to get my answer and then I would put it in the not yet pile. Then after I separated into the yes pile and the not yet pile, I pushed the yes pile out of the way and practice chunks of the not yet pile for a little bit every single day until I got it. So that is one way. You can either go out and purchase your flashcards or you can create your own flashcards at home. Create that yes pile and that not yet pile. That is the way that I learned my multiplication facts as a student. But as a teacher, I knew the power that music could have when it comes to memorizing something. So I created something called the multiplication mashup. The multiplication mashup gives a song to each factor. When we're multiplying, we're multiplying factors times factor. Factor times factor to equal the product. So taking one factor, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 that we use to practice those multiplication factors. And the multiplication mashup focuses on one factor at a time, meaning if you're practicing your zeros, there's a song just for the zeros. If you're practicing your fives, there's a song for the fives. Or if you got to something like eight times nine, you could go, well, I know the eight song, and let me do that nine times. So party rocking with the eights for sure. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, Ow, 72. So that's eight times nine is 72 using a song to quickly get to that product. So the multiplication mashup is a wonderful way. It's helped millions of kids around the world. I cannot believe that something that I created to help other people has helped so many. So if you have not heard of the multiplication mashup yet, I highly recommend that you definitely check it out. So we talked about using flashcards. We talked about using the multiplication mashup to practice every day. And also there are tons and tons of free and paid for websites where you can practice your multiplication facts. So you have your teachers and your parents saying you need to practice, and that is true. At some point, you have to take some ownership of this, and you have to be the one that decides, okay, I'm going to commit to five minutes of practicing a day. Five minutes is not a whole lot of time, but if you do five minutes of practice every single day, oh my gosh, you are giving yourself the very best gift. That might be a little dramatic, maybe not the very best gift, but I'm telling you, you're giving yourself a huge gift because mastering your multiplication facts is going to help you and take you really far in life when it comes to math. It's going to get more challenging, but if you master your multiplication facts, you'll be in great shape. Now, some of you might be watching this and thinking, Ms. McCarthy, I already know my multiplication facts, so now what? Well, I am so glad you asked because the now what is huge. Now that you have mastered your multiplication facts, it's not time to just sit there looking pretty. No, 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 no. It's time for you to be on the lookout for somebody who might need a little bit of extra help. Look for somebody who might be struggling. Look for somebody who's practicing and really intentional about it. And then go over to them and just say, hey, can I practice with you? Like I mentioned before, learning your multiplication facts is one of the greatest gifts that you can give yourself. And helping someone else to master their multiplication facts, now that is pretty awesome. And that's why teachers become teachers because they love being able to help out. There's this feeling that you get that is just incredible when you know that you've been a part of helping somebody to 
get through and overcome something. So here is your takeaway for today's Motivational Monday episode, and that is to take the time now to practice your multiplication facts, to master your multiplication facts, because if you master them now, it'll save you so much time later. You may or may not know this, but I am a math teacher for grades three, four, and five, and I am on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for so many students, as many students as I can help. So if you know that you need some more help with math, I would love the opportunity to be able to help you to help you boost your own confidence and practice and get into the right groove with math to help you become a better version of yourself. And you can do that by checking out my website at mccarthymathacademy.com. Before we go, let me remind you that math aside, you were born with something special. And it's your mission while you are here to figure out what that is, explore it, and then use whatever it is that's inside of you that you were born to do, use that to help make this world a better place. And I am absolutely talking to you. I'll see you next time, world changers. Bye.